Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create your own VPN server using a cloud VPS provider. So rather than using a public VPN server, you can use this with Wirecard and it will be in completely your control and all the devices connected can also talk to each other like they are on a LAN connection. So let's learn how to do it. It's very easy and very simple to do. You can do it just by following all step-by-step -step instructions within five to 10 minutes. So the first thing you have to do is sign up for a VPS provider. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it on DigitalOcean. And the best part about it is if you sign up using my link, smarthelpguides.com slash do, you can sign up here with your email. You will get this $200 free credit or whatever the best offer is going on at that time when you're signing up. So you can test it using this free credits for 60 days and then you can continue to pay if you like the service. Signing up for DigitalOcean is very easy. All you have to do is use the sign up with the email, enter your details and then you will have to provide some other personal details and payment information. So you can complete the sign up process and follow the next steps. After logging into your DigitalOcean account, you will see an interface like this. To create a VPS server, click here, click on create button and select droplets. Now select a server location, which is closest to your location. So there will be less ping or the location you would prefer for your VPN server. So for example, I will pick Singapore here and scroll down and here in image select OS and select here Ubuntu and by default it will pick the latest version so you don't have to do anything in droplet size and type you have to select shared CPU this will be more expensive so for this per VPN purpose and just for this tutorial we are going to use the cheapest option available and then if you feel that you need to upgrade then you can do also do that so I will select regular option here and then go here and I will pick the cheapest VPS available for $4 per month Then scroll down and we do not need any backup and everything. So here in authentication method, select password. If you know how to use the SSH key, then you can also do that. But just for the simplicity, I will pick the password option. Now create a difficult password here and make sure that you save this password in a safe place. If you lose it, it can become difficult to recover it. Now scroll down and here, if you want, you can change the host name here to anything that is easily recognizable to you. And you can also put tags here, but this is just for your own reference. Now click on create droplet. Droplet creating process will just take few seconds to maybe a one minute. Okay, so it took about two minutes for the droplet creation process. And once your droplet has been created, I would suggest you to just wait, give it a few minutes to process the installation. And then you can just uh, click here. And you can see this notice that droplet has been created and it is completely on. Now I will click on this option console. And another thing you should notice for this tutorial, I'm only going to use the IPv4. You can also enable IPv6, it is also free, but just for the simplicity, I have uh, only using the IPv4. Now click on console here. This will log you in to the command line from where we can install Wirecard and its configuration. If your droplet installation is complete properly, you will see a screen like this, welcome to Ubuntu, and it will be directly logged in here. Now let's install WireGuard script here. To install WireGuard, you have to copy and paste this uh, command here. I will paste this in the description. You can find it from there and also some other related information. So please do check the description. Now I will paste it here and I will paste it as a plain text because normal control C, control V may not work in this command line. So uh, you have to do it like this. Then press enter. This will automatically install the script and it will show you some options. So here, uh, just keep the default option. Do not uh, select anything. You can see here the number one option is already selected and you only have to press enter. So the default option is one. And now again, press enter. So this is the WireGuard default port and I would suggest you to uh, just keep it at default. 
or you can also change it if you want then press enter again now you have to name a client um, so here for example i will enter my client name as c1 uh, this is just for your reference and for example i want it for my pc so i will name it like this and then press enter now we have to select a dns server i would suggest you to pick between two or three two is google and third is cloudflare or you can pick uh, other options also i would pick three here and press enter now again press enter So the installation process has begun and uh, it will be quickly complete. So you can see here it's complete just like that. And now you can if you want to install this on your mobile devices then it is very easy. You can just uh, scan this after installing the application of Wirecard from the application store. You can also find the official app links from the description. And for doing it on your desktop devices like PC or Mac, I will show you how to do it. You have to go to this website wireguard.com slash install. Again, the link will be in the description for your reference. From here, you have to download and install the proper package for Windows. You have to download this, this for Mac, for Android and iOS, iPhone and for Linux, um, this options are available. Okay. And it all uh, applications are completely free so it's very easy to install after installing WireGuard application on Windows this it will look like this and for Mac also it will be similar so to add a tunnel here you have to go here click on this drop down option click on add empty tunnel and name your tunnel for example I will name it C1 Singapore PC Again, this is just completely for your reference. Now, remove everything from here. Now, let's go back to the command line here. And now we have to type ls. Okay. Then you can see here in our in the directory where we are currently present, there are two files. So we need this configuration file details. So to read its details, you have to type this command cat space name of the client c1 pc.conf okay now press enter and it will display its content now copy it from here interface to this persistent keep alive okay now you have to do it like this copy and paste it here okay you have to make sure that uh, it is exactly like this from interface to this persistent heap live now click on save okay so you can see here it has been saved and to activate the vpn all you have to do is uh, select this option activate but before doing that if you want to generate a uh, code for more clients so for each client you have to generate a uh, qr code and its configuration file okay so doing that is also very easy again we have to uh, paste the this command which we from which we started earlier just press enter now this time it will show that wireguard is already installed on the server and it will give us some options first option is to add a new client second is to remove third is to completely remove wireguard fourth option is to exit this uh, prompt so to add a new client press one and then enter and then again um, follow the same process for example i will name it c2 mobile okay then press enter again i will pick third cloudflare option for dns press enter then again it will show you the qr code you can download the application and uh, it's very easy to configure it's a uh, you have to just scan it from the application you will see an option of plus icon and then that's it okay again if you want it for a pc device again you can uh, see its content by typing cat and the file name c2 mob.conf press enter and again you can copy and paste it for example i want to again add uh, another one here again i can do it c2 remove everything from here copy 
this content also make sure that you use uh, each configuration for each device do not use the same configuration on multiple device otherwise it will not work properly okay now you can pick between these two okay and if you want to delete it's very easy also just run the script again now if i want to remove the client we just added press 2 and then again i will press select second option and it will be removed confirmation press y and enter okay it has been removed from here also i can remove it by selecting it and removing it okay so that's uh, how easy it is to set up now let's test the if our vpn is working because when you will turn on the vpn you will be get logged out from here so to log in again you will have to go and click on this option i will show you how it works click on activate it's active and you can see here also see a prompt that uh, this tunnel is activated and you can see it will automatically get disconnected because of the change in ip address now i am verifying that my uh, vpn is really working if it is working then this ip should be of dissolution and the location is also singapore it is exactly the ip and location of my dissolution server so this means this vpn is working now if you want you can also do your speed test and everything so hope this video was helpful if you have any questions or queries please post them in the comments and i will try to help you out thank you for watching this video i will see you next time